Hi, this is Monica from ADI. Teachers often question the difference between the CER and ADI CEJ framework. The CER framework consists of your claim, your evidence, and your reasoning. In a classroom, this might look like students coming up with the answer to a question, the data, and then what that data tells us about the conclusion. ADI CEJ framework consists of your claim, which is your answer to that guiding question, your evidence, which is now more than just raw data, and your justification, which validates your method and your conclusion by drawing in those larger overarching scientific principles involved in the investigation. Evidence within the CEJ framework now consists of more than just that raw data processing. We define evidence as data plus an analysis plus an interpretation for the analysis piece. Students can often graphically represent their data and the interpretation becomes a written explanation of what's happening in that graph. This one is taken from the book on CER. Students compare fat and soap via five different physical and chemical properties. Students list all of their data as part of their evidence. Based on their reasoning, the students reached a conclusion that because fat and soap have different properties, they are different substances. Nothing is incorrect about this argument, but we would like to share with you how concepts are furthered by the addition of a justification. Here is the ADI CEJ framework. We see the original reasoning in red is now part of our evidence because this is what we call an interpretation or explaining of what the analysis means. Take a look at the justification. Students are now tying in what they did to the bigger scientific principles, and in this case, recognizing that each substance has a unique set of physical and chemical properties. A good basic summary is illustrated on this slide. Your evidence and reasoning in the CER framework are combined into evidence in ADI's CEJ framework. We just add justification to make sure students are aware of and can communicate the overarching scientific principles that are involved with their investigation. While some people might think we're being just a little picky with our naming conventions, let's take a look at the justification for this physics investigation. The concept of Newton's first law combined with the assumptions of gravity and velocity are some of those overarching scientific concepts that make it more worthwhile to analyze the data we collected. This is the goal of justification. When you support a claim with evidence, you are reasoning. When you choose which evidence to use, you are reasoning. When you connect larger scientific principles to your evidence and your investigation, you are reasoning. Even coming up with a claim is reasoning. Your whole argument, therefore, is your reason. Making your thinking visible through an argument is what scientists call reasoning, and at ADI, that includes your claim, your evidence, and your justification. Thank you for joining us.